Freddy King week on here, man, and I'm super excited to read some Bleach. Last week's chapter, we finally got to see that teamwork that I've been asking for for so long. And, and if you guys have been following me for a while, I said... The one thing that is missing here is that we're getting one and then one. What I wanted to see was actual teamwork where one's ability led into the other ability and they combined to create one awesome ability. And last week that happened. They used their strengths to in order to cover each other's weaknesses and they took them out. They, they, they went in on the miracle and that was beautiful. I loved it to the max. And that, that's what I wanted to see. That, that's, what I, that's what I've been wanting to see for a while now. So glad it happened. But let's get right into this week's chapter, man. A son of darkness, that is a beast name, and the son of darkness doth fade. Let me see, a, a thousand blades rain upon, a thousand blades rain, rain, rain down upon the enemy. With that Byakuya greatness, man. They don't know about it. Let me see. Look at that, look at this Hosh Vault freaking deviant art, man. It's beautiful. Alright, let's see. So here we see the miracle he's just crumbling down. Yo, he got wrecked, man. He got hit by all these abilities at the same time. It was it was it was crazy. I loved it. I absolutely loved last week's chapter. The the the, the, the teamwork, man. I'm a huge advocate of that. What's gonna work? Teamwork. I mean, I'm telling you, man. It always works. It always works. A couple heads are better than one. Oh man, Toshiro's sweating. And you know, whenever you're made of ice and you're sweating, son, you did did you put did you put your heart out into something? You really did. So a lot of respect to Toshiro. He looked freaking awesome in his in, in his uh, futuristic form. It was, it was pretty cool. You, it, and I really like that how his Bankai really allowed him to, to, to transform. It was it was just, it's just one of those uh, really cool things. Kuchiki, you appear to have pushed your body to the brink with your Bankai. He definitely did. Look at him. He's sweating. He's sweating. He's sweating harder than I was. I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, between you and me, I'm barely hanging on by a thread here. Uh, we can tell, bro. It's not between you and him, it's between the entire Bleach community, to be honest here. Let me see, uh... Oh, God. Don't tell me that this man is back again. <sighs> right after that epic, epic finale, too, man. Don't tell me he's back. Because something just... You, you see this, like, this huge strand of light right behind them. And I'm kind of scared to turn the page because if it's the miracle, man, I, I, we just need to move on. We need to move on from that bastard. I'm tired of seeing him. What in the hell? What is this dinosaur-like creature? <laughs> what is this thing? You've got to be... He, he's still alive after all that? Oh, he's reforming himself into... Oh yeah, this, this this form actually looks pretty cool. The miracles never cease, son of darkness. Yeah, no, I no lie, this looks freaking beast. It looks like a it looks like a, a boss you would find in Dark Souls Three. So on a serious note, this looks pretty cool. I like this design. I I may not rock with the idea because I'm tired of the miracle. But look, man, it, it, the beast design, really, really beast design. I love it. And I have the Spartan helmet up here. It's, it's cool. I, I like it. I really dig it. Son of Dark Bleach 672. Hold on just a minute. Is that Kudos oh. And he seems to be face to face with Zangetsu, aka Yuha Ba. And Ichigo is standing in front of my I'm chilling. So that's why I think it's called Son of Darkness? Ichigo, whoa. Oh, Ichigo's ready. This panel, th this, this right, th the nostalgia. The nostalgia. From Kubo here. Bringing up the freaking Zanpakuto, man. Wow, it, it, that looks like freaking old Zangetsu too, man. The the original one just... Whoosh. Yo, that's freaking cool. Yo, what what the, what is going on? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ichigo even has his old gear from Wakamundo too. That's definitely the old Zangetsu. That is, that is without a doubt old Zangetsu. What the heck's going on? What the... Hey, <laughs> Yo, he slashed him! He's <coughs> what is happening? Not only is he wearing his old uniform, 
his, his whole Shinigami uniform. But he also just slashed him with all Zangetsu. Zangetsu, he's looking at him. Morning, oh, oh, it was a dream. I was wondering, I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. That was, that was clearly Shikai Zangetsu, the original one. And then, of course, it was, it was his attire from the Wakamundo arc. I should know because it's right up there. Oh, let me get it. Uh. Being an Ichigo, me and Ichigo tarred for so many years, man, you, 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 you tend to, you tend to, you tend to take a look at one of those things. So, morning already, what a wonderful dream. Here we see Juhai smiling, a dream so wonderful it could have been a nightmare. Ha! <laughs> Dang! That's how he feels? Oh, snap, is that a harsh vault sighting? This is what I've been wanting to see, my boy! Yes, and you see a sword is shining in the moonlight, so it's shining like this chapter right now. Morning already. You missed your chance. You weren't able to take me down before the sun rose. Not quite according to your plan, was it? I wasn't able to take you down. You, oh, damn, man. Uryu looks messed up. You have quite the sense of humor because the only thing my eyes are seeing now is an animal that's not only been beaten but tamed, drenched in, drenched in blood, and writhing on the floor. So now that it's morning, that means that, that, that their power is going to switch and, and, and Hushal is going to get his, his abilities as the balancer back. Yo, man, full power Juha versus Ichigo. That's going to be one hell of a fight. That's the first time I've ever been a compared to an animal. I'm flattered. Animals are brave, courageous, and without and, and without ill intent. Either way, it seems trying to kill you while it was still night was a miscalculation on my part. After all, my own powers are much more suited to combat than his majesty's, especially against someone. Oh my. I shouldn't be making any mistakes against. Ooh, so not only is Hoshvald taking this seriously, but he understands that his opponent is a, he's a strategic, a tactical man, and he can't let his guard up at all. So he even states that I shouldn't be making any mistakes against it. He's, he's doing an opposite of Shinji. Shinji, take notes. Shinji, take notes here, son. Because this is how you do it. And Hoshul say that his, his abilities are more suited for combats than even his own masters. But it really it really makes me think, though, because the original Zon gets he has to have that blade. I still stick with that. That 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 fight is gonna is gonna take place with Zon gets versus Zon. It's gonna be like since Zon gets versus versus um, Ichigo again, and in, in, in his inner world. I, I that's just the way I still see it, man. No matter how hacked Juha will be with his almighty ability, I, I I still see it as it's gonna be a sword battle. It's gonna be Zon Getsu versus versus Ichigo. That's just it's, it's the way it's the way it has to be for me. It really is. You know the final the final um thing Zon Getsu teaches him. Then Ichigo kills him. That's just it's just the way I see it. Uh, and then U Uryu looks shocked, and here we see just just a swing. Ying! Oh man, Ichigo and Orihime may have arrived. They have arrived at the palace doors. They are there. It is time to take on the man. They, listen, man, Ichigo versus Zan gets, and I'm I'm gonna call him that because because uh, we we know he's Juha, but to Ichigo he's Zangetsu, and that's gonna be an emotional battle for him because since it is Zangetsu, he's going to have this entire this this battle means much more because because he is Zangetsu. Ich Ichigo and him are going to be they're gonna have flashbacks of the past. They're going to be talk. He, he's gonna be talking to him like 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 if, like if he's him. He's, he's going to be speaking to him as if it's because Zangetsu he was his master, you know, one of his best friends, and that that is going to be definitely something incredible and from an emotional standpoint that I cannot wait to experience, and it's going to be something that Kubo can really play around with here, and man, it's it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to see. It's going to be very very exciting. So let's see it. If you feel that in a way, yeah, it's coming from beyond that door. Yep, two against one. I suppose it seems a little unfair. You'll be in charge of defense. Don't mean it. Don't let me down, you know. Eh? Oh my! And we have a really nice close-up into her eye and her face. You got it. Yeah. So they're actually gonna fight together. We fight together. De oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see you. At last. At last. At long last. Oh man, the flashbacks. Ichigo looking forward. Ichigo versus Byakuya, man. And this is actually really cool. And and then the Ichigo versus Grim Dog Greatness. This is actually really cool because this this is where Orihime really did think the same thing. She thought the same thing whenever uh, whenever she went up to, to go fighting against Ichigo or, or to to go help Ichigo, but Ichigo was taking care of business and she felt that huge blast of spiritual pressure back in Soul Society arc. I'm glad Kubo remembered that and of course the most memorable one is whenever Ichigo fought against Grimjaw for her. 
So really, really cool stuff. Finally, I'm able to fight alongside and protect Kurosaki-kun. Hell yeah, dude. Really, really awesome panel here, by the way, right, right behind them, too. Really cool. Oh, they're, they're pushing the doors open. And there, there we are. This is giving me hard, if you guys remember this, if you guys ever uh, read Naruto, the Sasuke and Itachi fight, whenever Sasuke arrives and Itachi's just sitting there in the chair, he's just chilling. I, I love that scene. So this is this is giving me hard vibes to that. And this is definitely present time Ichigo. He, he has his current wardrobe on with little shield thing right here. He has both of his blades, one of them right here, one of them on his back. So what? welcome. What took you so long? I've been, pa I've been patiently waiting for your arrival. My child of darkness. Ooh, that's a beast drinking line. Yes. Awesome chapter. Because I, I, the thing is, okay, first half, it was it was cool. Uh, we got some Miracle Gun. He has a really awesome design. And, you know, just seeing the after effects of really just how drained Toshiro are, it really gives you, like, a sense of urgency. How in the world are they going to take on that uh, him? How in the world are they going to take on the Miracle? Because they're, all, they're both almost dead. And we know, how, we know how much they get stronger as they proceed to uh whenever they die and resurrect and in in, in, in in that sense and in, 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 in that manner and they just all become always come back stronger but then we switch over man and we get the ichigo greatness you guys know me man i love my boy man so just and then we, we got a little insight at hostel versus uryu uryu he, he's hanging in there but hosh Hosh excuse me hostel just got his abilities back so now it's gonna be even more interesting Balancer, and the thing is, both of them have the pride of the Quincy. That's gonna be one hell of a battle. Kubo sticks that out, and we get to see more of that. Hoshvold versus Uryu has a has a content as a contender for one of the best fights in the entire series. Just from an emotional standpoint of them both fighting for their pride, and their pride is Quincy. So that's a, that's just beautiful. You can't write it any better, folks. And then when it comes to the the ending here, with Orihime finally being able to stand together with Ichigo and having a uh, uh, um having uh, flashbacks to whenever she couldn't before, whenever whenever Ichigo was already fighting Gyakuya, she couldn't help, whenever Ichigo was fighting against Grimjow and she couldn't help, now she's able to finally do it against the man that, that, that even if she just supplies emotional and just defensive support, it's going to be way more than what she could do before, especially in a situation where Ichigo's going to need it, this is Nangetsu, this is a man that he's been with, with so many years, that, that must cause some hard emotional pain instead of Ichigo, and just everything that this man has been putting on him from a psychological aspect, Yuha has been dropping down bombs Ishin dropped bombs on what Juha has done to Ichigo and his entire family you know with Masaki and everything so he's going to need her help and from a psychological standpoint of trying to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Juha and once again man it's Zangetsu man I, it's, I can't can't put that any clear it is Zangetsu versus Ichigo the, the final test that's the way I'm looking at it man the final test that Ichigo uh, that, that Zangetsu has for Ichigo it's just it's just the way I see it. And it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be emotional, it's gonna be one hell of a roller coaster, and it's something I can't wait to experience and I can't wait for to experience it with you guys and let me know if you guys are as excited as I am. Can I, I can't wait to experience this battle between Ichigo and freaking Zangetsu, man. It, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. And of course with Uryu and and, and um and Hoshval. And Hoshval has has his has a freaking ability back. We're we're in there. We are definitely in there, and I'm, I can't wait to see what kind of support Orihime is going to put, because this is going to feel like a boss battle in Final Fantasy. You have you have the, the defense, and the healer, and then the attacker, and it's going to be pretty cool to see how Kubo tends to, is, is going to be able to play around with this little, uh, in, in a tactical aspect, so it's going to be really nice to see. But you guys have an awesome day. This chapter for me gets a good sauce, really enjoying it. I'm super excited for next week's chapter. It's going to continue the My Son of Darkness awesome sauce, and just I know it's going to be emotional it, it, it's, it's definitely gonna be emotional but i can't wait you guys are an awesome day super happy to be talking about bleach again man thank you so much for leaving your comments on the bleach confessions video that video was a lot of fun to make and i will definitely be making more of those for other series and i really do so appreciate all the support guys so thank you and have an awesome day man bleach greatness man bleach my bleach is about to go in man it was really nostalgic to see him in his old gear again too bro really really nostalgic on the next installment of that awesome sauce, we tackle Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for the first time in quite a while, while we talk about topics such as the new Call of Duty remaster and Nintendo's new business moves. I'll see you there.